Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen. Player profile time for the Orange Lady Lions. We have Junior Ray Orbister uh, joining us at the time. Ray, first off, thank you so much for your time. Appreciate you. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. All right, junior year, one of the most crucial years in any student athlete, not to put any pressure on you. I'm feeling um, it now. So, I mean, what things have you learned to expect as a junior? Um, and I know we're, we're what, a quarter in, two quarters in at this point. What things have you learned to expect, the pressures and things of that nature? Um, because your junior year is kind of weird. You're kind of an upperclassman, but you're not really. You kind of get put back in your place. Uh, what, kind of, what, what kind of things have you learned to expect as a junior on this team? Well, uh, my coaches have taken to like expecting a more le like a leadership role mm -hmm. out of me, but I also have to find that right balance where, oh well, uh, sometimes sophomores don't want to be told like, hey, do this because I'm only a year older. Yeah. But I gotta just find that right balance between authority and also like, you know, keeping people together. How do you find your voice? Because you go from being a freshman and a sophomore that has like no voice to being a junior and all of a sudden you're expected to speak, you're expected to know what the expectations are, like we just talked to Coach Brown. Um, where do you find your voice? Do you find it in the summer or do you find it when you, you take the floor for the first time your junior year? Well, that was something I was definitely working through last year and okay. I will continue to work on that this year. And I think I'm going to find that in directing the court, you know, f seeing everyone, knowing the plays and just understanding where people are supposed to be and how they're supposed to do what they do. How did you get into basketball? Why do you love it so much? I started playing basketball in fourth grade for my rec team because my mom wanted me to make friends in the area. There you go. And I did make a lot, but I also found a love for the sport that I had no idea existed. And uh, my dad likes it too, so it's just another way that we can connect. What is it about the sport that you love so much? I think it's the idea that if you put a lot of hard work into it, you will get a good result. And by it's not just like a luck, a game of luck. Yeah. It's oh, I'm putting in these hours, so I'm going to see results. Okay. There's two types of people in this world, offense and defense. <laughs> which which side are you picking? Uh, Coach won't watch this, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely offense, offense. then. I, I like the idea of being quick on your feet and playing defense, but I'm just an offensive player at heart. Like your score? Yeah, there's nothing more satisfying than a shot going in or you know crossing someone up. Like, Nothing better, no better feeling. This is a team that is battled through adversity. Obviously, you know the the winning is on the way. How do you stay patient in times that you see growth? Well, every time we get you know a good game against a hard team, even if it's a loss, if we get you know a good practice where we're getting through everything and we're understanding the plays, it's just grasping onto those little victories that take us to the path of a winning season, which is what we're hoping for this year. What has been the biggest challenge you faced so far this year? And is, I mean, you guys haven't played a game yet, but in practice and scrimmages, what, what things have you seen that you're like, man, I, I have to get better, the team has to get better? Definitely understanding uh, the defense, reading the defense and recognizing the plays and understanding what we're supposed to run. Because even like as a floor general, sometimes I struggle to remember plays where we're supposed to run. And how can I tell them what to do if I don't know what we're supposed to be doing? Wow, that's accountability. That's big, Ray. That's big. Um, for, for you, let's take it off the floor. Wh who inspires you? Oh, man. Uh... It could be more than one. You don't have to just <laughs> narrow it down to one pigeonhole. Well, definitely my parents. I mean, when my mom was younger, she went to a whole other country where she barely spoke the language, and she spent the last year of high school there. And wow. Yeah, so just the idea of her being able to put herself out there in a situation that is just so foreign to her. And in the end, she came back speaking the language fluently. She had a boyfriend there. Like, it was so fun. And I just hope that I can have her strength and courage in my life. That's incredible. So, I mean, you were about – her age, or she was about your age now, yeah. that she decides she's going to leave. Um, I could not imagine myself doing that. No, <laughs> I was just going to ask you, could, could you do something like that? Like, that's bravery. What things do you see yourself, like, how do you see bravery in, in you? In myself, I feel, mm, I guess, coming every day, yeah. showing up to a game, or even life with a straight face, yeah. and understanding I have to get this done, this is what I have to do to get it done, and I can't show anyone that I'm afraid. You mentioned that you and your dad connect over basketball. Yeah. Talk about that connection and why it's so important to you that to have something in common with him. So my dad and I, uh, we love to watch NBA games together. And now that I've known the game for a longer time, I can understand what's happening. And he'll tell me, like, scores of some game. I'll tell him back. And it's just a good connection we share where he can also – support me and give me advice after my games and I can take him to heart and understand that he is my biggest supporter but also my harshest critic. I love it. Do you have any siblings? 
I do not. I'm an only child. Only child. So Christmases are awesome. Oh, yeah. Right? 100%. <laughs> um, what are you looking forward to? What are you asking Santa Claus for this year? Oh, my God. A win at – oh, well, <laughs> 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 basketball-wise, a win at the Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse because we've been asking our coach for years to play a game at the Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse, and I've, not been, I've never been more excited for a basketball game. Well, we're going to be there. We'll, oh my God. we'll make sure, we, yeah, we're going to broadcast the game for you, so have it forever. Oh, my God, So yes. ball out. Oh, you know it. Um, but uh, but the real Santa Claus, <laughs> from that standpoint, <laughs> basketball aside, what are you looking forward to most about Christmas this year? Um, I'm looking forward to just spending time with my family, spending time with my friends. I'm hoping to get together, like, a little white elephant gift exchange thing with my friends. There you go. Hopefully that'll go through, and we'll see. <laughs> uh, and, and finally, when you suit up for the Lady Lions, what does it mean to you? Uh, it means a lot. I mean, I feel, I def definitely feel the weight of my school and of my teammates on my back and understanding that this is the role I play in representing my community, my school, my parents, my friends. Like, I, I just, I'm excited and I'm happy to have this opportunity. I love that you're excited. I can feel it. You're, you're transmitting it. Thank you so <laughs> much for spending some time with us today. Thank you for Best having me. Best of luck this season. Thank you.